I, 26F, am upset with my fiancé's, 30M, reaction to an interaction I had with my mom, 58F. We went home for the holidays. My fiancé and I are getting married in 8 months so I spent a lot of time while home working on my wedding planning with my mom. My mom and disagreed at one point about something about the level of formality required for invites. I said we were having a casual wedding so it didn't have to be overly fancy and my mom disagreed. And she slapped me. It was hard enough to hurt but it wasn't like a wind up and leave a giant red mark on my face slap. While I'm not a big, trigger, culture person, this definitely triggered me. When I was a kid, my mom hit me. When I was 14 it peaked with an event where she strangling me and kept twisting my head back and forth super fast and aggressively like she was trying to break my neck. After that happened, I told her if she ever touched me again I would never speak to her again after I turned 18 and if I had children she'd never see them again. So her slapping me, while not a full-on hit, just threw me right back to that moment and I panicked. After that I was on full on guard after that I couldn't ever calm down for the rest of the visit. I couldn't even sleep well. Which again I acknowledge is an extreme reaction to a slap. My fiancé didn't see the slap because he was in the other room at the time. I immediately texted him when it happened. After I found a graceful exit from talking with my mom I ran over to him and he basically just said. Well was it hard? Quote. And I said no but like why should that matter? She slapped me and he knows my history. He knows what she did to me. He's seen me go through flashbacks to that moment when I've heard loud noises or people have moved. To quickly around me so like he should know that this was terrifying to me. Once we got home. We got into a big fight. He's apologized but it just doesn't feel like enough. I feel like he's just apologizing so we stop fighting. How can we move on from this? Edit. There are a couple things that keep coming up that I should probably address. This event happened on day one of us being home. We stayed for an additional two days post slap. My dad and sister were in the room and no one reacted and the conversation just continued. My fiancé was never hit or abused as a child. And when I confronted him about this whole deal, he said it felt insane that this would happen. I didn't start fighting with him until we got home two days later. I would be concerned that your fiancé's reaction showed that he thinks a certain level of violence is acceptable, particularly if he knows your history. Are you quite, quite sure that he would never in the future, resort to physical means to persuade you in an argument? If there is any doubt, that's the conversation you need to have. I am so sorry your mother is still abusive. Can you do the rest of the planning without her? If, of course, you decide you can trust your fiancé enough to proceed. Well, was it hard? is an extremely inappropriate and insensitive question after your own mother slapped you. Does your fiancé have any domestic abuse in his own family? That question only makes sense if someone's is minimizing the slapping. Almost like defending the slapper. Your mother. Like a, well, if it wasn't that hard of a slap. It must not have been so bad, which is horrifying. I think, first of all. You need to rethink your mother's involvement not only in the wedding planning, but in your life in general. Slapping is awful for any reason, but for something as inconsequential as wording on wedding invitations is incomprehensible. This might be unpopular but it sounds like you're more mad at your fiancé than your mom. Maybe I'm reading into it but it feels like you're mad at him bc it's easier than having to deal with the fact that your mom is extremely abusive. Any sort of physical violence is bad. You said you acknowledge you were having an extreme reaction to a slap. I don't think your reaction is extreme. It's abuse if it's a punch or a slap. Soft or hard. Honestly I might react the same way as your fiancé. Being confused and trying to figure out exactly what happened. 
Previously you had said you had some boundaries if your mom ever hit you again and she did. It seems to me like you'd rather focus on being mad at your fiancé than dealing with your mother abuser during wedding time. Which I fully understand and I'm not judging you for. You nailed it with it's easier to be upset with his reaction than to actually confront her mother about it. Maybe the boyfriend gets a pass because he just doesn't have any experience in a situation like this. Giving the mother a pass is a non-starter. NTA but I'm confused why you didn't leave right away or call the police. A graceful exit from your mom? Why? She slapped you? I would have just said, this is the last straw, and walked right out of there. Dramatical and stuff. I think you would benefit from therapy to help you deal with these memories and emotions and then you and your BF may find a way through this. There's no way to pretty it up. Your mom physically assaulted you. Whether it was hard or not it was disrespectful of her to do that. Would she have slapped a nurse at work? Or her husband? If not, then she knows what she's doing and she will never be sorry until she loses out on something major. Traditionally it is the parents of the bride that send out the invitations. So an invitation to your parents is unnecessary. For safety's sake, I suggest any more conversations with your mom are held in front of your fiancé. And that should keep her hands still. And if it doesn't maybe your future husband can tell her that she's out of line and if she slaps you again you will elope to vegas to get married there and then she will lose her deposits and there will be no further contact between you because the psychological damage to you is not something he's not going to tolerate you are still being abused by your mom and you have minimized it in every comment you have written that is classic victim but due to your reaction and minimizing i can see why your partner doesn't know how to respond. Your mom knew she could hit you because she's paying for the wedding but I suggest you cancel the wedding she's paying for and move on with your own money and cut full contact like you promised. Your child self. So after reading your responses I kind of get your fiancé's reaction. He did not grow up in this type of environment and this happened in front of other people that did. Nothing which probably really confused him on why no one stepped in. You also didn't correct your mom's behavior and ignored it for two days. Did you only start showing how upset you were after you left? Some people go numb and shove it down. Considering you then stayed two days after I'm taking a guess that you did that. It's a trauma response. When someone tells you something serious like that but the emotions don't match it can throw you off especially when someone isn't prepared. I'm guessing you show your emotions much better in the safety of your own home. Yes he was totally wrong for saying that. It was extremely insensitive, but I don't think that makes him a bad guy or a potential feature abuser. Though do keep your guard up and pay close attention to however you handle this situation and that. He is supporting and defending you going forward. However. What should have happened is you and your fiancé leave immediately. Why are you allowing this? You are responding to people saying she hasn't done it in 12 years but that doesn't make what she did before and now okay. She should never touch you. What makes it worse is she slapped you because you wanted to address her invitation as mom and dad. Instead of draw and drb. Like um what? Who the f slaps their daughter over that? You should have left immediately. By staying and not correcting the behavior. Like having repercussions for her actions. You are allowing this to happen and it will happen again. I don't even see why anyone would be mad over your plan. Do you walk around on eggshells with her? I would demand her to seek therapy before even thinking of allowing her to go to my wedding. I would demand it of my family as well for allowing it to happen in the first place and not stepping in they have normalized this behavior and that's f up furthermore your mom has given you massive trauma i don't get why you even want her there 
You need to seek therapy. The best advocate for yourself is yourself. And you didn't do that. If you won't force her to get help and still want her around, then from now on do not be alone with just your mom and family. Require an outside member, like your fiancé, to be present at all times. My guess is she won't try to harm you in front of other people. Abusers tend to try to only abuse where others won't see, at least others that would call them out on their actions. Also make sure that this outside member is aware of the situation and that your response to it is to shut down. That way they know they need to step in to advocate for you even when you won't. Your shutting down and suppressing is a trauma response. It will be hard to unlearn that but therapy would help. Break the cycle. Stop normalizing abuse and leave this situation. Both the family you were born into and the unsupportive family you think you want to create. Your mother should be dead to you and never. Never allowed to be around any future children you have. For your fiancé. I think you should go to couples therapy before proceeding with any wedding plans. If anything you underreacted. I think you're mad at the wrong person here. It's safe for you to be angry at him and not your mother. You very obviously have PTSD and you're now having a huge flare-up. Info have you has therapy? If not I think you really need to start. And I also think you need to take a huge step back from your abusive mother. It's not healthy for you. And if that means putting wedding plans on hold till you get therapy then be it. Sending hugs from a fellow PTSD suffer. Sounds like some PTSD level of reaction to your mother's abuse. I also have PTSD from my parents' abuse and neglect. I definitely recommend therapy or massive self-reflection before marriage. And I'd recommend that your fiancé educate themselves on how to support an abuse victim because they failed in their support of you in that moment. You deserve to be loved by people that don't abuse you or diminish that abuse. Also, that's a ridiculously petty reason to slap someone. Even if it wasn't, no one that has put their hands on you in anger deserves to celebrate your marriage with you. I'm sorry. I read through this and a lot of comments but my brain keeps returning to the phrase of not being a big trigger culture person whilst saying in the same paragraph that you are frequently triggered by other things. I think you should be upset with your fiancé but also your dad and sister. They all sound toxic and I don't think I'd be involving them in my life so much as cutting contact with them, including the fiancé. I'm horrified. My dad once kicked my foot under the table to wake me up. And that one time was enough. My husband was livid about it and still is to this day. And no shock my dad got worse from there we are now no contact. How dare your mother. Your mom slapped you again. Your fiancé has no reaction other than asking if it was hard. He is supposed to protect and support you. No level of physical abuse is acceptable. Have you considered how your mother will behave with grandchildren? Both of these people need to be gone from your life. And... If you haven't gotten professional help, now is the time. Your fiancé has no idea how to handle an entire room of people acting like nothing is wrong in response to assault, battery and then blowing up once it is safe to do so. He's confused and waiting for you to take the lead on dealing with your family. He doesn't understand why you didn't hold your boundaries or even consider leaving early. He doesn't understand why no one else reacted. He doesn't understand why you are directing anger at him rather than at your mom. The person who hit you and who was warned that this was a hard boundary. Your conflict should still be with your mom. Not with your partner's confused response to the conflict. So you fought with your boyfriend instead of the person who slapped you. You're 28 you are both grown women. I might not have slapped my mom back and that's a hard might. But I definitely wouldn't have stayed. 
even if it meant paying for a hotel room. Before my mom died she knew when she pissed me off because I'd get up and go home because I'm not. Letting you disrespect and talk to me any kind of way just like I don't disrespect you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.